on the bell. Once the bell is clicked, you will get all notification. Thank you. Hello everyone, please welcome and join me Easy Steps Cooking. Today, I'm going to share with you quick and easy Shapli Kebab recipe and I'm going to make it with chicken. And without wasting any time, let's start it with the ingredients. I'm going to use one and a half pound ground chicken. It's a chicken keema, olive oil, one onion, one tomato, half cup besan, it's a gram flour, one egg, two green chili, quarter cup cilantro, it's a dhania, one teaspoon ginger, salt, garam masala, red chili flake, ajwain, red chili powder, grinder powder, one teaspoon each. As for chili, it's according to your taste, but I'm going to make it really hot. Now we're going to mix all the ingredients with our keema. And let's get started. Get a mixing bowl. I'll bring keema. This is really nice ground chicken keema. And now I'm going to bring onion, tomato, basin, ajwain, red chili flakes, red chili powder, garam masala, grinder powder, salt, ginger, green chili, cilantro, dhania, and lastly, the egg. We're going to make sure that it's nicely combined, all the spices, all the ingredients with our keema. Once it's nicely combined, this is how it's gonna look. I'm going to get the plastic wrap that we're going to put this one in the freezer for 20 minutes. So this is how it looks after taking out of the freezer. I have my fry pan ready and I'm going to start the gas. To keep the gas on high, so once it's going to heat up, then we're going to bring the gas to medium. So I'm going to use a couple tablespoons of olive oil. You can use any vegetable oil. We don't need too much oil. We just need so it can cover our pot. So we're going to make sure that we tilt it on all sides, just like this, and it's nicely covered. As the oil heat up and the pan heat up, I'll bring the gas to medium. Get a little oil on your hand, just like this, and I'm going to make sure that it's nicely coated, and I'm going to get good amount of So once you make it like this big, then we're going to flatten it, just like this. When we're going to cook them, we're going to cook on a medium gas. So this is how it looks, and this is the other side. So it's nice and flat. So we're going to place it right on there. I'll do the same thing. A little more oil on our palm and the fingers. And I'll show you one more. This is perfect. Like this round shape, and then flatten it. So look at the other side, looking good, and I'll place it into the fry pan. Next one is ready, and we're going to grab it, and we'll place it right on the pan. More oil, grab it, and this is perfect. Once you make a little nice ball, then you just flatten it, just like this. You know how we make a roti? The dough ball, that's the same way. So this is perfect. We place it right in there. And now we're going to cook on a medium gas. Once it's going to start cooking at the bottom, as you see the chicken meat start to turning white, so it's getting cooked. And then we're going to turn them over and we're going to cook on the other side. And once it's fully cooked, then we'll take it out. So cooking for four minutes on medium gas. And we're going to turn them over, just like this. Look at this. It's nice, beautiful color. And now we're going to cook four minutes on this side. So I'll turn each one of them. So this is looking perfect. So if you have something like this green splatter, if any oil coming out, it won't mess up your counter. So it's a good idea to use that. If you don't have it, then you can use a lid, then cover it like this. Also, it will help your camera to stay clean, so it won't splash oil on your camera lenses. 
and now we're going to cook four minutes on this side then we're going to turn them over cooking for four minutes now i'm going to open it and we're going to turn them over look at it how delicious they are looking So after turning these over, and we're going to cook additional one minute. Our chocolate kebabs are deliciously looking there already. Cooking for additional one minute. Look at this, how delicious they're looking. I have plate ready, and I place the paper towel, so we'll soak any extra oil. So I'll take it out like this. Look at these. Very delicious. We're going to add a little bit more oil and we're going to work on the second batch. You make a ball and you flatten it, and this is it. And now we're going to place it right on top of it, just like this. So I'll place this one right in there, and I'll continue doing the same way. So this is one more. So we have two batch ready. Put the screen splatter on top and we're going to cook them for four minutes. Cooking for four minutes. Now we're going to flip them over. And now we're going to cook another four minutes on this side. And please keep the gas on medium. Another four minutes cooking on this side. We're going to turn the kebabs over. They are looking very delicious. And on this side, we're going to just cook one minute. So we're going to cook one minute on this side. We're just going to rotate the sides. Our chappi kebabs are all ready and I'm going to take it out. Look at this, so delicious. Let me share with you and I'm going to finish up the last batch. Our quick and easy and very tasty and very delicious Shapli Kebab is ready. Please try the Shapli Kebab and you're going to like it. And like always, like, share and subscribe Easy Steps Cooking. Thank you and have a good day. Bye bye.